I'm Chael Sonnen at the Foxwoods Resort Casino. I am joined by World Series of Fighting President Ray Sefo. Ray, we got a huge card coming up. We got Big Bulatov taking on Freelo. This is going to open the show, and it's for the World Championship. Well, that's right. I mean, it's the first time in history that I know of that a fight, that a title fight, a world title fight at that, to open up the main card. And so you got two guys who are very tough, tough flyweights. And they're both very good on the ground. They're both very good at um, stand up. Obviously, the fight starts, starts standing up. And I think it's where these guys are going to go back and forth and probably end up with submission. They both come off full, full win submissions. And so I think it's going to be an exciting fight. And Ali, you know, has talked about this, where it could be the most exciting fight to date for Words of Fighting. Okay, as so we move to the other end of the spectrum, we go to the light heavyweight division, where I competed at. We've got my training partner, one of my coaches, in Vinny Magalienz. He's going to be taking on Matt Hamill, who's a masterful wrestler. Both of these guys UFC veterans. Both of these guys World Series of Fighting veterans. Right. How do you see this one? It's a tough one to call because, like you said, you know, they are veterans of the game, and uh, Vinny Magalienz is not only a good friend, but also... Uh, I've trained with Vinny many a times, as you have, and uh, he's probably one of the most decorated grapplers in MMA today. Matt Hamill, on the other hand, what an inspirational story with that guy, and he's fought everybody, you know what I mean? And so um, it's a tough, tough fight to call, but I can say this, the winner of that fight could possibly fight uh, Tiago Silva for the number one contender to fight David Branch for the title. So. Um, whoever wants it's going to come out and, and perform fight you, night. You know, and Matt Hamill's always been so hard for me to break down because he's a decorated wrestler. He had won three different national championships right. on the college level. But his greatest weapon, in my opinion, is the jab. He uses that wrestling to not go to the ground. He doesn't usually try to tackle guys, and he jabs them, and he jabs them, and he jabs them, and he picks them apart. And I think that Vinny's going to have to be aware of that. Well, yeah, exactly. And, um, and you're absolutely right. This is where Vinny's got to understand that that's his game, and... I'm sure he's done his homework, you know, for this fight. So uh, it'd be interesting to see who comes out on top. All right, then we go. We've got Nick Newell. He's taking on Tom Marcelino. What do you think? Tom Marcelino is a tough kid. I mean, Nick Newell, again, another inspirational guy. Love that guy to death. And um, he's a guy that uh, always comes to fight, always comes to look for the finish. Tom Marcelino, on the other hand, he's a tough kid. Um, I've seen him fight a couple of times on in the Worcester of Fighting fight card. And... He's a guy that comes to fight, comes to scrap. So I think, you know, um, Nick Newell will probably have to try and take that fight to the ground. And if it does hit the ground, I think Newell will Nick Newell will come out on top. So everybody talks about Fedor Emelianenko. He recently signed. He's come back in the sport. We don't have Fedor, right. but we got the guy that beat Fedor. Okay, right. this is a big deal. We got, uh, we got Blagojev. He's going to be taking on uh, Maimon. This is a hard fight, and this is in the heavyweight division. Can Maimon compete with this guy? Absolutely. You know, Maimon's, uh, he obviously lost against uh, Samlinio, who had the title, who fought for the title. And I think after talking to Maimon, uh, I want to say a couple of months ago now, the guy is hungry and he said, you know, he just got caught early. Uh, now he's facing a guy who's not only the champion, heavyweight champion, but he's also the guy that knocked out the guy that knocked him down. Sure. So, you know, again, I think he's got to be uh, on his toes, be sharp, and just come out and do what he does. He is a very strong guy. I mean, he comes, you know, he knocked out Hollis Gracie in the way he hits Hollis so hard. Devastating. That, you know, that Hollis did a 360. Um, love Hollis, but, you know, that's just the way the fight falls. And so I, I think uh, Derek's got a, a mountain to climb with Blagoy, but it's a mountain that's doable. And sure. so uh, I've actually also sparred Blagoy and, uh, in this past few weeks, and the guy looks, he looks ready, he looks sharp. So, you know, again, it's him always. Anything can happen. Anything here. can happen. You know, uh, Blagoy has been beat. He's never lost in our right. ring. He's never right. lost in this promotion. But he has been beat, so it is doable. Right. Let's see if it can happen again. Now, as we move on to the main event, okay, we've got Fitch. John Fitch, he's going to be taking on a former opponent, training partner of mine in Yushin Okami, right. who is coming down to the 170 pound weight class. Let's start with that. Can you should make weight? Well, this is the thing, you know, when I, when I got the phone call that they wanted to go down to 170, and I'm like, listen, I'm gonna give you guys a week or two to kind of, you know, sit on this and, and really make a decision because 170, that's another extra 15 pounds right. because the guy is a big guy. And like you said earlier, we would have thought he would have gone up in weight sure. instead of going down in weight. And so, 
Now, in saying that, um, Yushin Okami is the guy that if he comes and he cuts the weight and he makes weight well, I think uh, it's going to be a tough night for Fitch because he's uh, a very strong, and I remember reading somewhere where you said that when you fought him, he was probably the strongest grappler you've ever Yep, strongest locked, guy. Yeah, strongest guy that you've ever locked up with. And so um, he's, he's fought everybody. He's been in the game a very long time. And, uh, you know, it comes, obviously his last fight wasn't that great because he got, he got stopped by David Branch, who's the uh, middleweight champion. But I think he's got something to prove. And uh, who better to prove it against someone like John Fitcher, who's another, you know, MMA legend. Sure. And, and this is very common in combat sports. When you have two number one contenders that both fall short, you match them up together. We see it in boxing all the time. Right. Everybody that Pacquiao fought and right, beat, right. they all then had to fight each other. Everybody made with they had to fight each other. Right. That's what's happening here. John Fitch was a runner-up for the world championship to one of the greatest of all time in George St. Pierre. Right. Yushin Okami was a runner-up for the world championship to one of the greatest of all time in Anderson Silva. Right, this exactly. match has to happen, but there's a lot on the line. There's a lot to be lost here, and there's a lot to be gained. Well, that's right. It was, to, what to gain here is the winner of this fight um, could probably fight Jake Shields for the vacant waterway time. Sure. And so I think there's a lot at stake, uh, like you said, and I think um, both guys are going to come down and, and really you know, go to work. Cool. I know you're going to have a great seat because you're the president. I know you got connections <laughs> around here, but I know how you guys can get a great seat and you don't even have to pay for it because it's live and it's free. It's Saturday night, 8.30 in the East, 5.30 in the West, and only on NBC Sports Network.